Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can install Java on our Mac operating system. So to start with, we are going to verify if uh, any other version of Java is installed on your Mac operating system or not. So to do that, just uh, click on this search icon and then search for uh, terminal and once this terminal icon uh, uh, is visible just click on the terminal icon which is going to open the terminal on your Mac operating system. Here to verify if Java is installed you need to just write Java hyphen version command and then press enter and then you will see this kind of output which says no Java runtime present requesting install and you will see this kind of pop-up also. If Java is installed, you will see the version of Java which is installed on your Mac operating system. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on this button which says more info and this is going to open the official Oracle uh, website and here you will be able to find directly the version of Java which is the latest version which is Java SE 14 at the time of making this video. If you want to search for this location manually, then you can search for uh, Oracle Java JDK uh, on your favorite browser and the first link which will appear here will be uh, this website link. So I'm going to just click on this link which will redirect me to the same page which uh, I have seen here. Okay. So here what you need to do is you need to click on uh, JDK download. And as I said uh, at the time of making this video, the latest version is Java SE 14. So we are going to install the version 14 on our Mac operating system. Now here when you will scroll down, you will be able to see the packages for different operating system. So we want to install it on our Mac operating system. So we are going to choose the Mac OS installer. So just uh, Click on the link which is in front of the Mac uh, installer which will be the file with the .dmg extension. So I'm going to just click on this link and then just check this checkbox and then click on the download button. So this is going to start the download of this JDK file on your Mac operating system and then just choose save file and then click on OK which is going to start the download. So this is around 176 megabyte file so it will take some time to download. So once this DMG file is downloaded you just need to click on this DMG file which is going to open this kind of uh, installation wizard. Let me just minimize the browser and the terminal also. So once this window opens you will be able to see uh, this JDK 14.0.1.pkg file. So 14.0.1 is the version we are going to install right so just double click on this uh, jdk package file which is going to start this installation wizard so here just click on continue here and then click on the install button and then you just need to give your mac operating systems password so just provide the password of your mac operating system click install software which is going to start the installation of Java on your Mac operating system. And in few seconds, you will see this message which says install succeeded, which means the Java JDK is successfully installed on your Mac operating system. So just close this file and then you can just click on move to trash, which is going to move this file to trash because we already have installed Java on our Mac operating system. Now once Java is installed on your Mac operating system, you can also set the Java home environment variable on your Mac operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quit uh, this terminal and I'm going to open the terminal once again. So just search for the terminal once again and I'm going to open the terminal once again. And now I have all the commands which I have listed here. So to know the location of your Java home, you just need to uh, give this command. I'm going to provide all these commands in the description of this video also. So this command is going to give you the uh, Java home path. So I'm going to just give this command and then press enter. And you can see uh, we are going to set this Java home path into our environment variable as Java home. So once we know the Java home path, 
we can give this next command so we just need to open this dot bash underscore profile file with any editor of your choice so you can give this command open tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile or any uh, editor of cho or your choice you can uh, list out this uh, bash profile uh, in your home directory also so just open your terminal and just give ls hyphen al command and you will be able to see uh, this uh, bash profile file here also okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just clear this terminal and then i'm going to open this file using my editor which is visual studio code so i'm going to just write code and then the path of this bash underscore profile you can as i said use open also uh, to open this file or vim to open this file or nano to open this file so the editor choice is yours so i'm going to open it with the code editor which is uh, visual studio code in my case and here at the very bottom i'm going to export this path so to export this path you just need to just write export java home in capital all in capital right so just at the end just write export java home is equal to and the path which you have found using this command which is this path so i'm going to just copy this path up to home from the terminal and then paste it after equals to sign okay so once you are done you can just save this file so i'm going to just save this file and then i'm going to move to the next command which is source uh, till the forward slash profile file is going to refresh your bash profile uh, in the terminal so you if next time when you give this java home command it's going to give you the value of that till the forward slash dot bash underscore profile and then press enter and now you can echo the value of your java home variable so just write echo and then dollar java underscore home all in capital press enter it's going to give you the value of java home also you can uh, give the java version command so i'm going to clear the terminal and this time i'm going to give the java hyphen version command and then press enter and it's going to give me the version of java which is installed on my mac operating system so as you can see we have installed java 14.0.1 so it's going to give us uh, this version you can also give java c uh, hyphen version command so java c is used to compile or build your java programs and it's going to give you uh, this kind of version so this also is 14.0.1 now let's uh, do something interesting let's create a file java file and we are going to compile this file using java c and run our uh, uh, program using java command so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cd to my desktop folder so to create a java file you just need to navigate to the location where you want to create this file i want to create this file into my desktop folder so i'm going to just go to my desktop folder right now i don't have any file in my desktop folder so i'm going to create it using uh, touch command and then uh, i'm going to write the name of uh, my file which is uh, hello world file and then you need to give the extension java to it okay so touch hello world.java and once you do that you can see when you do ls this file name is uh, there which means this file is created now you can open this file using any editor uh, of your choice you can use eclipse ide or uh, netbeans or intellij idea also for uh, compiling your java code i'm going to use code editor which is visual studio code editor for uh, compiling and editing this file so just write code and hello world.java file name and it's going to open your hello world.java file into an editor it can be any editor as i said now here i'm going to just uh, give a simple hello world code this code you can find easily on internet anywhere so i'm going to not go into the details of this program 
we are just interested in compiling and running this program. So this is just printing hello world on the terminal when it's compiled. Once you have this code, just save this uh, code and then go to the terminal once again. And to compile your code, you just need to give Java C and the name of your file, which is hello world.java in our case. And once you do that, you can see that this file is created uh, in your folder. Okay. So if you see this file, that means your compilation has worked, worked successfully. So we just need to run it using the Java command. So once you see this file, you can give uh, Java and the name of your executable file, which is hello world in our case. You don't need to give this dot class extension after your hello world program. You just need to give this name, uh, which you see here before dot class. Okay, so Java and then hello world. And when you press enter, you will see hello world is printed. That means our Java and Java C commands are working. So as I said, Java C is for compiling your program and Java command is for running your Java program. So this is how you can download and install Java on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.